Turbyville with a big leg. 37 touchbacks and 41 kickoffs. And this will be another touchback. So here comes Alabama on offense. We welcome those of you joining us on ABC. Him down on the big stage today. Short set, and that one's on target too. McCoy shot down with a first down inside the 40-yard line. Throws a strike. That's a great start from the quarterback. 6'6", 215-pounder is Ia Maliava. On the run, Dylan Sampson. The ball comes out at the end of the run. Alabama saying they have it, and the officials concur. Jihad Campbell recovered the Samson fumble. Career. Keon Sav, a great tackle there. And as looks like Samson spinning out, Malachi Moore is able to grab it and dislodge the football where there's a scrum and Alabama ends up for it. That's two games in a row now where Tennessee has a promising offensive drive stalled because of a ball that hits the deck and a fumble. Just a big Big play there by Alabama's defense, but a critical mistake by Tennessee. 200. Play clock down to three. They do snap it. He takes off running and got tripped up, or he had a lot of green grass ahead of him. Will Brooks might have saved a touchdown. Great call and beautifully executed. And really nicely done by Jalen Milrow, recognizing that the left side is going to collapse, anticipating a surge from the 41 yard line. Blitz up the middle. It's picked up. Milrow resets and fires a strike for a first down. Ryan Williams the catch. Hacker right up the middle. They tried to blitz him. He picks it up, gives Milrow plenty of time, where he finally finds Williams working across the middle in man coverage. That Howard Jalen, he's played very confident football. Since Williams got blasted in the back, but he held on. At the 35-yard line, took a sturdy hit from Jermon McCoy. And this is a big collision. Boom, right there. Catch. And he's just 175 pounds, Williams. The flip goes to Kenrick Law. He's inside the 20 and chopped down at the 15-yard line. Perhaps end of the line. Milrow. Stop for loss. They knew that quarterback run was coming out of that formation. Milrow giving a nice pocket again over the middle. Caught. And it is a first down for Justice Haynes. Slayer, spiritual leader in addition to being a terrific linebacker, but they like their talent in the game. Milrow intercepted along the near sideline. Jermon McCoy across midfield. Terrible interception thrown by Milrow. McCoy is so good with his eyes. Man coverage with Williams. He looks inside immediately. One hand snag and reels it in. That cannot be played better by the cornerback. You see how he located the ball immediately. Was able to time his jump at the exact same time as the wide receiver. And he reels it in and he's off to the races. Just a tremendous play, and you can see it from the progressive pylon cam. Here is their kicker. He's missed only once. And that was from 53 against NC State. He's now missed twice from 53. Gone without the announcers mentioning that he's only 17 years old. In trouble. Jam Miller dropped for a big loss. Back into Alabama territory to the 47. Omar Allen, that Tennessee defensive front. Tennessee was still getting set. Milrow didn't have anything, so he pulled it down and runs for another first down. Solid tight ends, but not that guy who's going to get you the big catch in the red zone or on third down. Here is Jeremy Bernard breaking tackles and out of bounds near the five. Last 21-yard gain. Miller, the running back. Milrow for Williams. This time they complete it. A juggling catch for a touchdown with Ricky Gibson in coverage. Earlier, Jermon.
Todd McCoy so good with his eyes, you might want to work the other side. This time they do. It's Ricky Gibson in coverage. He doesn't locate the football. It was a nice route by Ryan Williams to give himself just a little bit of time and create just enough separation. Nico Iamaliaba, wide open receiver. Ethan Davis, tight end. Here, third and nine against this pass rush, but he's very comfortable in this offense. Throws, throws deep in the coverage, and his first throw of the afternoon is intercepted by Malachi Moore with a lot of running room across the field. Still on his feet and out of bounds near the 35. 44 yards. And he can clearly feel the heat off the left-hand side from Quay Russo. Moore escapes, kind of throws a fadeaway jumper, but that's about as easy as it gets for Malachi Moore. And as a backup quarterback, you haven't warmed up, you haven't thrown any passes, you're thrust into a difficult situation, you just potentially make a... Liam Aliaba is three out of eight for 37 yards. High throw, good catch. Brew McCoy! Dragging tacklers, refusing to go down, and finally they get the whistle. Offense. He's not even on the field, Sampson. Molly's checking on that. Ian Maliava throws, caught, Brew McCoy again. Out of bounds inside the 20. A 23-yard gain. Ian Maliava running out of time, hit as he throws, intercepted. Another huge mistake. Great pass rush, terrible decision. And Alabama's defense stands up again with another turnover. This has been 53 yarders. This is 50 with no breeze at all. And wide right again. See if I can steal a possession. Milrow faked in one direction and ran into James Pierce. Tenth play of the drive. They have moved the ball 32 yards. Milrow hit from behind. A flutter ball that falls incomplete. Dominic Bailey has been a presence in that backfield. That needs to go. Look from here like the holder was spinning the ball around as Nicholson was approaching it. You will see the, the laces were straight back. That's not match laces, has to spin it around, but still it's around in plenty of time. Well, it looked like he did a good job, the holder. Spin. He had 19 yards rushing at the half last week, finished with 112 in the overtime win. Good throw and catch, Brew McCoy. In the last 20 years, Mississippi State in 2020. Iamaliaba, it's going from bad to worse for Tennessee on offense. Miller bounces it outside and has another first down. Second level for Tennessee. Zeelander is a sophomore, played most of last week against Florida. Peely went down in the first quarter. Milrow, a nifty run. Nico Iamaliaba. Sampson straight ahead. And a first down, tackled in the secondary at the 22-yard line. To go. Second and six. Sampson, good bounce outside. Has a hole. Sampson down the sideline and out of bounds. Outside runner and inside runner. He is excellent at both. Iamaliyad escapes several Crimson Tide defenders. Off and running and down inside the 10. They had him surrounded but couldn't get to him. So a good call by the official. He was Holden Stays. <laughs> Holden Stays transfer from Notre Dame. Here's Dylan Sampson. Touchdown, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alabama, how about going back to some good old-fashioned running game? And Dylan Sampson answering the challenge. 60 yards rushing on that drive alone as he ties it up at seven. In the passing game moving forward. Second possession of the half for Alabama. They had seven straight runs on their opening possession. First pass of the half is complete and are helping this Alabama drive along. Kendrick Law. Kendrick Law belted down. 
Second and 11. Four-man rush. All kinds of time. Open receiver and a first down. C.J. Dupree. 35-yarder. And Alabama leads 10-7. to Jalen is 49. He'll be 50 this week. He's three years older than Hypo. Long throw down the field. Caught! Dante Thornton Jr. down to the two. With the freshman Jalen Mbakwe in coverage. A 61-yard play. To the end zone. Touchdown! Dylan Sampson again. Play fake by Milrow. Throws open receiver. Jeremy Bernard inside the 10. Chased out by Andre Turin time. First designed and a great throw. Boys to take the lead and they do a walk-in touchdown for Justice Haynes. Answer by Alabama. Just a tremendous job by the left side of the offensive line. Caden Proctor just walling things down. A nice cut by Justice Haynes to go right behind his tackle. And he walks into the end zone. Just a tremendous answer from the tide in hostile environment after Tennessee just took the lead. They're young. They can do it. They converted on third and two a moment ago. They convert on third and one. Bishop again. It's this pressure look from Alabama. Option look. Big play for Bishop. And a flag thrown at the end of it. It's a first down, at least for the moment. Don't want to see Chris Brazel. Holding offense number 17. Up five yards because it was from the spot of the foul. So from third and ten to third and five. And that play is dropped for a loss. Sampson. El end over end. And it takes a great bounce. It'll be down inside the three yard line. A great field position. They bring pressure late. Milrow grounded one from the end zone for a safety last week. Got rid of it and it comes up short. In the direction of Ryan Williams with Jamad McCoy. Should he be called upon? Sampson again. First down Tennessee at the 21 yard line. Delivered. They've delivered the noise as well. Third down, five. Five out of 11 on third down. The Amaliyama end zone diving attempt. And it is caught for a touchdown. Chris Brazel puts Tennessee back on top. What an effort by Brazel. The ball is perfectly placed. Does he secure it? Looks like he does. Ball's in the air. Got both hands on it. Ball moving just a hair, but I think he's got firm control. And I think it's going to stand. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Loudest it's been all day, and that's saying a lot. Looked like Tennessee might have been offside. No flag. And Milrow down. James Pierce got there. Kalen DeBoer out on the field, wondering where's the flag. He certainly thought the Volunteers were offside. It did look like he got a slight head start, but did he time it perfectly? Man, it looks like he's just barely in the neutral zone. It's a bang-bang play. One, I think you could call it. You could also leave it in your pocket. Very close. And your defense here on a pivotal third down. Six out of 12 on third down. It's a middle screen and dropped immediately as the tight end, Ethan Davis. Play clock at five. Four man rush. Milrow retreating. Dumps it off. Justice Haynes down the sideline.
Hey, John Allman in the replay booth took a look at the run after the catch by Haynes. And he stepped out of bounds across the 32-yard line. So they brought the ball back to the 33 instead of the 39. So instead of third and one, it's third and seven for Alabama. Down by four at the two-minute timeout. I think it's four-down territory. Five-man rush. Pressure up the middle, and it's dropped behind Kendrick Law. After the play was over, personal foul, offense number one. My goodness. And the down counts. Just a terrible decision by Kendrick Law. Jawing at him, but he retaliates and punches and pushes, excuse me, the defender right in the face. And that's going to get called every single time. Just a terrible decision. And now your offense is in an impossible spot at fourth and super, super long. Analytics didn't like it. Felt bad about it after the fact. They bring pressure. It's a screen. It was a floater to Justice Haynes, and he does not get the first down. Got out across the 31, but needed the 40. Will Brooks there. The first down, and it's ball game over. In all reality, and they don't get there. Good job by the Alabama defense. Malachi Moore, the safety up there. Red shirt freshman from Memphis. Good for him. Right down the middle, it's a seven-point game with a minute and a half to go. But hope, potentially. Williams has been targeted 19 times. Jalen Milrow fires, and it is intercepted! Will Brooks picked it up! thrown by Milrow and that one will wrap it up for Tennessee a huge play by Will Brooks the Birmingham Alabama native and Will Brooks eyes are in the backfield the entire time he sees it he sees Jeremy Bernard crossing face throws behind Bernard and Brooks reels it in it's a good pass rush as well just a big time play by Brooks on the errant throw from Jalen Milrow his second interception of the year the first one he took back 85 yards for a touchdown in their route of North Carolina State to go to six and one. They won't snap it again. Huge win for Josh Heupel in his fourth season here in Knoxville. And some of the fans coming out onto the field. First time that Alabama has had more than one loss entering November since 2007. Don't forget to subscribe.